So the crypto markets have already gone crazy, but they're about to go absolutely insane. And so in today's video, I'm going to go through the latest updates what's happening in the crypto markets and how that's going to affect your crypto portfolio. I'm also going to go through some potential trades that you can take and much more. So stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. Now, if you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos about the crypto markets, about Bitcoin and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And so with that being said, guys, let's jump straight into what's happening with the markets. And as you can see right now, at the time of recording, there is a live feed from the Fed chair, Jerome Powell, our favorite guy. He's testifying before Congress and he's talking about the monetary policy, what's happening throughout the month of March and how this is going to affect Bitcoin going forward. I'm also going to insert this clip that he talked about in today's meeting. The existing uh, digital currencies that, that again are not backed are really vehicles for speculation. They don't, they're not used in payments. They're not a store of value. They're a speculation like gold. That's what they're used for. Whereas uh, you know, potentially a US CBDC would have a wider view. Absolutely insane stuff. And I mean, you know, I tweeted out earlier saying that's literally Ukraine just received $40 million in crypto payments. That legitimizes it as a currency, it legitimizes Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many others as well that are out there. Even Polkadot. I mean, Polkadot, the founder of Polkadot, did say that if uh, the Ukraine government, if they give out their uh, Polkadot address, then he will you know, gladly donate $5 million in Polkadot. So this further solidifies what crypto is and you know validates it as a form of currency. What was also noteworthy about this particular meeting today is that Jerome Powell did say it is possible to have more than one reserve currency. And this is significant. This is huge news. And I don't think that many people are going to be talking about this. People in the crypto space, don't get me wrong, people in the crypto space are going to talk about this a lot. But people, you know, sort of, you know, the, the mainstream media are not going to talk about this at all. But this is huge news. This is, has huge implications for the US dollar as a world reserve currency. In a way, it's sort of Jerome saying that he's giving up the position of, you know, the US dollar being the world reserve currency and allows the, the center stage to take place for another currency to be out there. Now, you know, we can all speculate. We can all speculate until the cows come home about what the next reserve currency is going to be or what will be alongside the US reserve currency, what would it be? Uh, and so in my opinion, it could be Bitcoin, it could be XRP, it could be anything else. And so it, it's very interesting to see where things are going to be going. It could be potentially even the euro or maybe even the Chinese currency. So there's many different opportunities for things to change. And this is going to be a significant change in geopolitical policies across the world and how it, countries interact with each other. Now, you know, believe me, I'm not a geopolitical expert, but this does change a few things going forward. I'm also not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. But anyway, let's go further to this as well. And again, he also sees, uh, Jerome Powell also sees a, a rate hike this month, and he sees it as appropriate. Now, the rumors early this year, which did cause Bitcoin's price to crash, as we can see, um, and also alongside with uh, the stock market as well. This is back in January this year, and this is when the speculation, these red candles that you can see right now these red candles at the beginning of the year were of the rumors that the federal reserve is going to raise or were going to raise the interest rates up to a crazy crazy amount and then the rumors started to be dispelled and then also the rumors were turned into meetings and those meetings and what came out of those meetings were that we're not going to be doing as many rate hikes as once thought but there will be some rate hikes this year and that will affect things going forward but i think the reaction to this is good in my opinion the reaction to this is good because it's not going to be as high as once people thought and there's only going to be a few um, over the course of the year. There's potentially maybe seven. Um, there's some people saying that it could be as high as 20, but you know, the round sort of the seven mark would be good. 25 basis points going from 0% um, to potentially 0.25% and that would just be a small increase, but it won't be as much as what people initially thought and that will affect the markets, in my opinion, positively going forward because it is a concrete decision that's going to be implemented, that provides certainty and that certainty is is good for the market. Let's go further to this and analyze what's happening with the crypto markets. Again, you know, Jerome Powell is affecting the crypto markets today and um, you know, it's affecting what happens with Bitcoin. So if we go further to this on Bybit itself, I've been watching 
the, the Bitcoin charts closely like a hawk today, actually. Um, going on to the one minute charts, and as you can see, you know, I wouldn't advise, we don't advise going on to the one minute charts and trading the one minute charts, but it's good to see sort of individual price action what's happening with Bitcoin's price. And as you can see, it did reach around $45,300 early today. This will drag up the rest of the old coins, and you are going to be seeing a lot of volatility going forward. This is what I mean by the markets are about to go absolutely insane. They've gone crazy. They're about to go absolutely insane. So expect volatility. There will be continued dips and corrections along the way. So take that as it is. What we're going to be doing at Crypto Busy is whenever there's going to be a massive dip in the markets, we're going to pick that up again because we see where crypto is going. As I called to earlier this video, talking about the donations that's happening with the Ukraine government and how crypto is a form of currency. And then also on top of that with the, uh, the regulations coming this year, that's going to be a big thing coming for bitcoin now as i mentioned on bybits we do have our trades open at the moment we, st we have them open with no take profit for the time being because you know this could go the volatility could go even higher so we're in about 250 percent profit in most of them because we've got a 10x leverage on them um, but if you do want to trade on bybits for experienced traders only of course um, you can use our link down in the description below you can sign a deposit and start using bybit today you can get up to four thousand one hundred dollars as a bonus an absolutely crazy bonus there and you can get 30 percent discount on fees of course as well using our link all links down in the description below we also have the crypto busy vip coin calls so again i'll leave that link down in the description below as well so this will drag out the rest of the markets and you know talking about you know changes in world reserve currencies and potentially having a, another world reserve currency so having two that's going to be an interesting position to be in now further to this as well you're going to be seeing more information coming out with xrp further to this week as well that's going to be interesting to see what happens with that um but i think you know the more information we're going to see out of this case with the ripple acc case this will increase xrp's price and then on top of that again what's happening in the world at the moment with russia being banned from swift there could be a new uh, swift network being created with the BRICS community so that is brazil russia uh, India and China, and they could be creating their own payment system. And uh, Ripple, um, it was Brad Garlinghouse himself, he did talk about um, having a new um, you know, sort of uh, world reserve currency, but then also on top of that, how Ripple, you know, Ripple lands will always comply with what the international laws are. And so there's been rumors that the Russian central bank would be using XRP. And Brad Garlinghouse did dispel that because he wants to, again, have XRP and, and Ripple to be completely compliant as much as they don't want to be sued again, which is also super important going forward. And I did also talk about the how, you know, this will, uh, you know, the Bitcoin move that we're going to be seeing will drag up the rest of the altcoins. So do expect that as well. So there's many different opportunities in the crypto market. And, and you know, that is also super important. So going further to that, so, you know, one thing that you can do is dollar cost averaging and going into your positions. Another thing is also staking. So staking is a huge huge thing when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Now, there's many ways you can go into involved in staking. You can have it on most exchanges that are out there, but there are certain pools that you can have as well, which is really cool to see. So further to this as well, I want to bring attention to DeFi Yield Protocol. Um, so talking about this further, again, you know, so the, 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 the way things are going in this world is going to be absolutely insane. So DeFi Yield Protocol, we have spoken about this on this channel before, um, you know, is a unique platform that offers solutions for yield farming, staking, NFTs, and enabling users to leverage the advanced trading tools for DYP. So further to this as well, how DeFi the yield protocol is changing the future in crypto earnings. So again, um, you know, staking is probably one of the, the best things you can possibly do in crypto at the moment. Now, you know, because you're lucky to get like 1% or 2% in your bank account at the moment, but uh, DeFi deal protocol can offer as much as up to about 10%, even more than that as well, actually. Crazy, crazy returns on their staking, which is great to see. Now, all capitals are at risk, of course, so do be aware of that. Um, but again, you know, the DeFi pro uh, projects eliminate intermediaries by allowing people, merchants and businesses to conduct financial transactions with the use of technology, block, you know, blockchain technology itself uh, to be more precise. Uh, and so DeFi deal protocol, where does that fit? Has started a project, they wanted to create a platform where you can use different assets. So Ethereum, Bitcoin, USDT, and USDC, and provide that passive income. So what that means is when you stake a cryptocurrency, you just put it into a pool, or you put it into an exchange itself, and that is essentially locked up. What you get in return with that is a monthly income from that. And so it's, again, providing another stream of revenue there. Um, and that's what DeFi Deal Protocol is able to do. So I'll leave them all links down in the description below so you can check them themselves in much further detail. Again, great project that's happening behind that as well. And also a great team when it comes to that. So going further to this as well, I'm going to go into some technical analysis for Bitcoin and also where things are going. And as I did mention, things are crazy. They're about to go insane. So expect the volatility. But what is also noteworthy is that we're seeing some form of decline coupling from the stock markets. Now, this ebbs and flows. There have been times in the past where the stock market doesn't dictate where Bitcoin has been going. But for the past three months, about, you know, about half a year actually, 
the stock market has been affecting where Bitcoin is going. So whenever the stock market does well, so does Bitcoin. When you saw that beginning of this year, when the Federal Reserve announced those sort of interest rates or potential of those interest rates, you know, Wall Street pretty much uh, sold all of their tech stocks. And so we saw a massive uh, drop in Meta. You saw a massive drop in also uh, Netflix and many others as well, Fang stocks, basically. And they see Bitcoin as a tech stock. So they also shorted Bitcoin as well. That's why you saw that massive change. But what is good to see is that we're seeing some form of decoupling happening with crypto and that will be big for things going forward. Then also on top of that, uh, Binance and OKX have reject calls to ban Russian crypto transactions. In a way, I kind of agree with this because if you ban the Russian crypto transactions, then they will find another way to go about and, and you know, go about their business so one thing that's what crypto is amazing to do is that it's very uh, transparent you, you know you can put any uh, bitcoin address ethereum address that's out there and you can track every single transaction so to the people that say that it's a you know privacy thing or it's one way of saying no to the banks you know crypto is very transparent and, and bitcoin is very very transparent and everyone can see what is happening so whenever you see these sort of whale alerts or the you know the whale alerts that's happening on, on twitter and that is usually um, to do with the transparency that's out there. So going into the technical analysis, now Josh will give you much further in-depth analysis of what's happening with the uh, the TA on Bitcoin and much further to this as well. Uh, but going into some just brief over analysis on what's happening you know, with Bitcoin at the moment, we could be seeing Bitcoin try and retest um, the $42,000 as a uh, form of, of support. 43 with the immediate support as well there. But um, for the time being, the rejection of $45,000 was expected in a way because, again, it has been a major key level for the time being. 46 is an even more key level to what 45 was. And I've always been saying this and I'll continue saying this as well. The road from 40 to 50K is tough. It's hard. It's it's difficult from Bitcoin to get you know from 40K to 50K in a short space of time. You need some form of fundamental news to come and push Bitcoin's price from 40 to 50. The road from 50 to 60, however, is not as hard as 40 to 50. So do expect this to be a long and hard journey to go from 40 to 50. It's not going to be easy. It'd be quite something if we saw 50K tomorrow. It's not. I'm not saying it's impossible, but we'd have to see some major, major news come out for Bitcoin going to be pushed up to 50k so just be aware of that as well and expect volatility when it comes to bitcoin so rounding thoughts or concluding thoughts for today's video guys um you know we are seeing a lot of moving stuff and, and moving parts in the crypto markets we haven't seen the end of this i still believe we're still in a bull cycle there's going to be bear cycles within this bull cycle but the overall trend right now is that we're in a bull cycle we're getting into the second phase of this bull market itself we're seeing two things regulation and adoption happening right in front of our eyes and i can't stress this enough this is going to affect bitcoin Bitcoin's price greatly throughout this year and beyond that as well. So we're going to see a lot of interesting stuff happening for crypto. And we're going to be there 100% of the way with you guys, providing all the latest news and updates here at Crypto Busy. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. So things are going to get absolutely insane, guys. If you do like the video, make sure to leave a like and um, you know, do comment down below all your thoughts and opinions and your feedback in the comment section below. It's very much appreciated. So that's it for me today's video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.